Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to learn a new concept called the stage analysis that was in introduced by the Stan Weinstein who is one of the very successful trader and he wrote a book in 1988 uh, Profit uh, and the name of the book is Profits in uh, Bull and Bear Market where he explained a theory about how the market moves in four stages. Uh, so we are going to take a look at all the stages in detail with the current example and we'll check the current market uh, and uh, we'll see in which stage we are currently. So let's get started with the video. So before that standard disclaimer, I'm not a CV registered analyst and any stock discussed here is not buy or sell recommendation. Please consult your financial advisor before taking any trade or making any investment. Let's get started with the video. Uh, so, Stan Weinstein gave the theory of stage analysis in his book called Secrets for Profiting in Bull and Bear Market. So, where he explained that the market always moves in stages and a trader or investor by identifying these stages can time the market and maximize their profits in both bull and bear market. So, once you learn to identify the stages, you can trade according to that in which stage you can go, go aggressive and in which st uh, stage you have to go defensive. Uh, so that's what we are going to take a look at in this video. So let's uh, get started. So this is the basic diagram of the four stage analysis by Stan Weinstein. So this is the stage one or the called the basing stage uh, where the stock is just consolidating in a range and after a downtrend, uh, after a good downtrend uh, at one point the stock, stock just stops falling and just starts consolidating in a range. And then the stock, uh, then the stock starts moving, breaks out, and starts moving upward. And then comes the stage where the stock again starts consolidating. But this time, instead of breaking out and continuing the move on the upper side, it reverses and gives a breakdown. And then the moves continues on the downside. And then again, the stage one starts. So another legendary trader, Richard Wyckoff, gave the similar theory uh, that how market moves in stages. And he called them uh, accumulation, markup, markdown, and distribution. So the basic logic behind the theory uh, of both uh, the uh, Wyckoff theory and this stage analysis of Stan Weinstein is same that the market moves in st uh, stages, and one stage is of accumulation, and the uh, other stage is of markup, and then we have distribution. Uh, distribution and accumulation both are identical, but things in both these stages are happening opposite. So in accumulation, uh, big hands and the FIIs and the DIIs and the big fund managers, all of them are just uh, buying the stocks that they want. And in the distribution stage, they are selling uh, what we call the strong hands or the big hands or the smart money. Uh, that will keep selling in the distribution stage and the money will shift from uh, strong hands to weak hands that are retailers, the people like you and me. So this is what happens and then we have the markup stage which is the best stage for traders or any investor to make the profit and then we have the markdown stage uh, which is uh, typically a bear market where every stock is falling no matter how the news is, no matter how the fundamentals are, the stock just uh, will just keep falling. So let's uh, look at the stages one by one. So we have stage one that is the basing or the accumulation stage so after a decent correction the price just starts consolidating in a range uh, the price is uh, the price is as of now the price is below the 30 week moving average or you can call it the 200 day moving average and but the 30 week moving average starts flattening so let's say a stock is coming down like this and then at a point it just stops falling and starts consolidating and then we have this uh, 30 week moving average and it will just stop falling and starts flattening out. It will tangle with the price but it will stop falling and it uh, and the moving average will also create a kind of a base and move in a flat manner. So as of now the, stool, uh, the, uh, the news is still negative but the stock does not react to it anymore. So you are getting bad quarterly result or maybe there is some other news, maybe there is a war going on or anything could be uh, any kind of negative news. 
but the stock will stop reacting to it and it will stop falling and just will consolidate in a range and the price establishes a boundary and retested multiple down, uh, times so as i said the stock will start consolidating in a range and it will test uh, it will create a boundary on the upper and the lower side called the resistance and the support and it will retest it multiple times and the volume in this stage will start decreasing a little bit uh, so this is the typical chart of uh, stage one basing so as you can see after a established downtrend as you can see the stock was at 9.27 dollars and then it came down to around 1.28 dollars or maybe 1.2 uh, 1.10 dollars and as you can see the volume is continuously declining and the stock is right below the 30 week moving average and this is a simpler diagram of this one the stock is falling down like this and it starts consolidating and the 30 week moving average will start flattening and look at the volume what the volume is doing in this stage typically the volume is low so this is the stage one what we call the basing stage or the accumulation stage where the big hands enter in a stock where they are uh, buying all the pessimism and uh, they are buying it because they think it, it will go up in the future so the in this stage the money is shifting from weak hands to strong hands weak hands to people like us retailers who are just frustrated with the stock and they are just selling it at a loss and then the big hands the FIIs, DIIs, mutual funds and all they are buying it so this is the example from our Indian market, mm, one of the most popular stock, Lord's Labs, as you can see. So it was continuously falling from around September 2018 and it was below the 30 week moving average, this blue line as you can see here. And then it just stopped falling as you can see here. It kind of established a base around this level of rupees 60 and the 30 week moving average started flattening. And as you can see, and this was the COVID fall. But after that stock recovered pretty quickly then we have the second stage that is the advancing or the markup stage so in this stage the price breaks out of the range with high volume this to, uh, the news is still negative but the price starts going up so in in this stage also the news is still negative the company is still not performing or maybe there is some macroeconomic situation right now but the stock stops falling and it starts going up even though the news is still negative the price will start moving up now the price is above the 30 week moving average or you can use the 200 moving average same thing and it is start it starts moving upward in upward direction so in stage one the 30, 30 week moving average started flattening but in this stage the price breaks out of the range and the moving average also starts going up so here is the example of apple as you can see here so this was our typical stage one where the stock just consolidated and then it gave a breakout look at the volume and look at the candle let me remove the marking so you can see this area clearly yeah so as you can see here look at the uh, candle and look at the volume combined with that candle so this is the uh, stage two breakout uh, the as you can see this 30 week moving average have flattened and now it's going up and the price is above this moving average and once this area of resistance was crossed you can see the what the price did it moved from around 105 dollars to around 200 dollars that is 100 percent gain and look at what the relative strength uh, is doing relative strength is just uh, uh, plotting the strength of the stock against any benchmark index as in case of america it is s p 500 so once it, it is above zero, it means the stock is outperforming the overall market. And in this case also, it is moving the, uh, it is above the average and it is above zero. And so it performed the, outperformed the market. So this is what the stage two is. You will get a lot of consolidation in between, small, small consolidations as you can see here, which you can use the areas to add on to your existing position as long as the stock is above 30 week moving average. Sometimes it may come down and then you can get out with your stop loss. But again, uh, if the stage two is still in play, it will come above and again give give a breakout after a consolidation. But it will start uh, it typically it will start weakening after four or five bases. 
like uh, what i mean by that this is was this was your first base when the stock broke out of the basing stage and the stock shifted from the stage 1 to stage 2 and after a decent up move it will consolidate a bit and then again a decent up move it will again consolidate a bit so that's how it keep it will keep forming bases so because the price does not move in a single direction so when it is fifth or sixth base or if a stock is making fifth or sixth base you need to be a little bit cautious so this is a very simple example of the stage two uptrend so this is the ideal place for a trader to buy when the stock is above 30, me uh, 30 week moving average the volume is picking up and it just consolidates with the low volume and again breaks out of the consolidation so here is another uh, again the example of the Loris lab uh, it showed all four stages that's why i'm using this example so as you can see the price was coming down and this was our basing area and once it broke out uh, in this area it shifted from stage 1 to stage 2 as you can see here the price is above 30 week moving average look at the volume in the basing area and in the stage 2 uptrend and look what happened after that a very big a very strong uptrend once it moved from stage 1 to stage 2 and you can see the consolidation area that i was talking about the base formation here the price again consolidated for few weeks maybe like uh eight nine weeks and here also the stock consolidated for few weeks and then once again it gave a breakout and again starts uh, started moving up and in this time you can see uh during the base formation the volume was low and the whole time the price was above 30 week moving average so now let's move on to the stage three that is the topping stage or the distribution stage so in this stage the news is good but the stock stopped moving upwards and every rally is sold into so news is good the companies are performing great the macro environment is great gdp growing at 8 9 percent 10 percent 12 percent and the companies are uh, giving future guidance of 20 30 percent revenue growth and all of that but the stocks will stop moving up they will just start consolidating in a range again and every time they try to go up on the news of good result or something like that and it will again sell a uh, sell rally will come and the stock will again come down so multiple uh, breakout failures on the upper side and each sell off is combined with the volume and wide reach candles so one thing you need to notice after four five bases if this stock again and again fails to break out and uh, with every down move it has uh, it faces and it has big wide range candles combined with huge volumes then you need to be cautious and the similar to the basing stage uh, but the this time the stock will tangle again with the 30 week moving average but this time it will go below it so this is the typical example of the basing stage this is the example of city group as you can see here the price went from uh so the price was just consolidating this was our stage two uptrend in in which this uh, price moved from 36 dollars to around 51 dollars and as you can see here it was again tangling again and again with the 30 week moving average and it failed to cross this level so this was the highest level that we had 51.54 and next time again it tried to cross it but it didn't even reach the previous level and it uh, and the, again the sell rally came and the thing i was talking about the size of the candle look at the size of the candle and look at the volume on the red days and what came after that is the stage four once the uh, well established base was broken and look at the size of the candle so here i have a recent example of one of the it stock that is emphasis and you can see it is a really perfect example so this was a top and the price fell down and again fell down look at the size of the candle that i was seeing and look at the volume and again uh, it failed to cross this level and again fell and again tried to go up but again fell look at the size of the candle after that not even a single green candle maybe a single one or two green candles but look at the size of the candle and the intensity of the move so this is the transition basic transitioning from the stage 3 to stage 4 
look at uh, the 30 week moving average started flattening and once it uh, went below it with a gap which signifies that the sell off is really strong so then we have the final stage that is the decline stage uh, in this the stock breaks the support which is a well established area that we have and slips below the 30 week moving average uh, now the 30, uh, 30 week moving average will start sloping downwards even the good news has no effect on the stock and it will keep slipping down uh, every rally is again sold off so stocks will try to rally in between again and again but every rally is sold again and the decline is compounded with the high volume and wide range candles so this is another example of it stock because currently the it whole it sector is in the stage for decline so uh, this is the example of Larson and Turbo Infotech and you can see here the stock formed a double top this was a distribution phase when uh, the price failed to cross this level and again came down and look at the size of the candle uh, what I was saying look at the volume and look at the size of the can candle whenever a stock is moving from stage 3 to stage 4 always take note of the size of the candle if the candle are really big wide range without any wicks then that means the sell-off is really strong and look what happened after that the stock fell from around 7400 to around 4700 opposite so here is another example from one of the us uh, market the uh, block which previous name was square so what happened look at what happened here uh, so this was our typical stage one and this was stage two and this stage three where the price start uh, stopped forming another high and every time it tried to cross the resistance level that is in this case is around 283 dollars it again came down and the price started tangling with the 30 week moving average and once uh, this area was broken look at the size of the candle again repeating always keep note of the size of the candle and the volume bars the bigger the candle the higher the volume uh, the bigger the sell off simple as that look at the size of the candle and in stage two it's opposite the size of the green candles are really good and uh, look at the volume increase uh, so this is another example of the stage four transitioning from stage three to stage four uh, and this is one from the indian market that is ages logistic and look what happened this was our first level of resistance that is it uh, 387 rupees and the price again tried but again failed and look at the candle again repeating the same thing look at the size of the candle and look at the volume when the down move was happening and then it broke the 30 week moving average and it started sloping down and again it's now again going into the stage one so this is a cycle it will keep repeating and we have cycles within a cycle maybe there's stage two going on and if you go to low time frame then you will see there is stage one two three four in that stage two also so just like uh, it's very similar to elliott wave theory but i find it very much more useful and it's easier to as compared to elliott wave theory so this is the example of all four stages uh, i found a really perfect example uh, this is the art architects you can see here the stock uh, was in the stage one basing or the accumulation according to richard wyckoff uh, the stock was trading in a range for five years and then uh, it broke this range around 201 rupees and look at the stage two what is strong up and look at the volume here uh, so this is the markup stage and once it broke the five year long resistance it ran 350 percent in few months so now the, uh, after that came the stage three distribution so this was the climax cell uh, a very sharp move combined with a uh, gap down very next day and big wide range candles and very high red volume as you can see here uh, take note of the volume let me remove the marking take note of these two volume bars so one was green and the another was one was red so very next day so that is a sign of climax uh, sorry climax a uh, buying climax you can call it buying climax and the price never even touched that level of 931 and uh, it slipped down below the uh, 30 moving 30 week moving average and you can see what happened after that the stage 4 decline it went from around 800 something to 400 almost 50 percent 
loss and then we have one from the american market that is amazon again same thing happened stage one accumulation stage two markup and then we have the distribution multiple price fa uh, failures uh, it tried to cross this resistance level of 300 500 sorry 3556 dollars but again failed and then uh, the price was dangling with the 30 week moving average which is a typical sign of uh, the distribution phase and then we had a base breakdown look at the size of the candle and then it again tried to rally but it has broken now broken a very big and important support around 2800 and now it is entering the stage 4 decline so that was it for today's video and i hope you learned something and if you learned something and if you enjoyed the video please consider hitting the like button and don't forget to like subscribe and share uh, i will keep bringing such concepts again and again and if you haven't watched my previous videos then i have a series on the encyclopedia of chart patterns where i will uh, bring more videos about different chart patterns and then i have made a video about how to create a watch list uh, which is a, pr a very practical and easy thing you just need 20 minutes every day uh, to repeat that exercise and then i have made a video about the pivot points how you can enter and catch a breakout early so that was it for today thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe and share and turn the turn on the notification